Good evening, everybody, and welcome into our Full Court Press Creighton Men's Basketball Special presented by Barry Law. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll give you an inside look at the Blue Jays 2022-23 team, plus get you set for Sunday's I-80 rivalry between Creighton and Nebraska as CU tries to take down its in-state foe for the fourth straight season. The overall series between Creighton and Nebraska is about as close as you can get. In their previous 55 matchups, the Blue Jays have won 29 times, while the Huskers have been victorious 26 times. However, since the start of the 21st century, CU has dominated the I-80 rivalry. Beginning in 2001, Creighton has come away with the win in 19 of the last 23 games against the Big Red, including 9 of the last 10 against Nebraska. And nearly all of those against the Huskers haven't even been close, with 8 of the last 9 victories against NU coming by double digits. Creighton hasn't lost to Nebraska at home during the regular season in 27 years. The two teams have met once in the postseason, with NU edging CU 71-70 in the 2004 National Invitation Tournament in Omaha. Nebraska's last win in the series overall came back in 2018, which was Tim Miles last season leading the Big Red, as the Huskers handled the Jays that day in Lincoln 94-75. But since then, it's been all blue as Creighton put up 95 points the next year in a 19-point victory. The 2020 game was a unique one that was played in front of just 254 fans because of COVID restrictions as the Jays won 98-74, their largest margin of victory in the series in 15 years. Finally, last season's game in Lincoln had Creighton hanging on to beat the Huskers in front of a sold-out crowd at Pinnacle Bank Arena, 77-69. And the man who's led the Blue Jays in the last 12 I-80 rivalry games, Creighton head coach Greg McDermott. Coach Mack, an impressive 10-2 against the Big Red in his time at CU. McDermott knows tomorrow's game is one players and fans constantly circle. I mean, I think the Creighton fans do, and I think the Nebraska fans do. I think that's natural. That's what rivalries are about. Uh, it feels like forever since we've been home, so it will be nice to be back in our own building. And obviously, I, as you mentioned, I think the place will be rocking. I think it'll be, be a great environment for college basketball, much like it was when we went to Lincoln last season. Fred's always going to be very, uh, you know, offensively. He's very, he, he's he's willing to change and really did very does a very good job of adapting to his personnel. Uh, I thought he did that at Iowa State, and you know obviously he coached Doug at the Bulls, so I've I've followed his career forever. They seem to have a, a sense of togetherness uh, this this season, and then I think this is his best defensive team. So you know we're gonna have a quick turnaround after Texas to get ready, uh, but obviously it's a fun game for the state. Uh, always an enjoyable game, I think, for both fan bases, and I don't think this year will be any different. And Sunday's game starts at 3.30 and can be seen on FS1. Meanwhile, Coach Mack coming into this season with a much more settled future. McDermott agreeing to a contract extension back in March. He's led CU to 20 wins in 11 of the past 12 years, and now he can likely finish his coaching career at Creighton. I've been fortunate. I think this is my first time in 34 years where I've had a change of athletic director. Uh, so, you know, you, you don't know what their vision are, what their plan is, and, and it, it was good to know that Marcus and I are in aligned in terms of where we want this program to be. Uh, you know, we've accomplished a lot of good things, but we don't feel like we're finished yet. And, I, you know, he's proven to me that he's willing to do the things necessary to help us elevate our program. And that that was exciting to me. And, and uh, you know, obviously I, I, I made it clear how much I love Omaha and, and love working at Creighton. So I'm, I'm excited to be here for the long haul. Obviously, Doug's career here, I mean, he, you know, he's he's obviously as connected to Creighton as anybody that's probably ever played here for the things that he accomplished during his career. But, you know, our, our, our family's happy to call Omaha home. We've got, you know, a lot of great friends in this community that, uh, you know, will be friends for the rest of my life. And, and you know, it's, it's fun to share in the successes that we've had as a program with those people. And it's fun to have those kind of people to rely on when times get tough and you have a little adversity. And um, that's the benefit of being somewhere a long time. You certainly uh, develop some relationships that will stand the test of time. And up next on our Full Court Press special, we sit down with one of the rising stars on the CU roster, how transfer Baylor Shireman's quickly become a key piece to the Creighton puzzle and discuss which team he actually rooted for in the I-80 rivalry growing up. Stay with us.